decontaminate your hands and wait for the tray to dry for three minutes. During this time, you can gather the equipment onto the trolley, making sure that there is a sharp spin to hand. Do not put the unopened equipment in the tray at this point. You must now decontaminate your hands. Check that all of your equipment is in date. Remove the needle from its outer packaging and attach it to the first blood sample bottle. As the key parts are still protected, you can place the bottle and the needle into your tray along with the rest of your equipment. Place your apron and gloves onto the clean trolley. Decontaminate your hands and proceed directly to your patient. Once you are at the patient's side, you should decontaminate your hands again. You should reconfirm the patient's identity against the blood request form and confirm that the patient is happy for you to proceed. Position the patient so that they are comfortable and ensure your equipment and sharp spin are within easy reach. Apply a disposable tourniquet to the patient's arm and palpate for a suitable vein. Once you have located the vein, release the tourniquet until just before you perform the procedure. Use the chlorhexidine wipe to clean the patient's skin using a vigorous rubbing action and allow the skin to air dry for 30 seconds. Apply the apron and gloves. Reapply your tourniquet to distend the vein. Do not repalpate the cleaned area of skin. Pick up the first blood bottle and unsheath the needle. Apply traction below and to the side of the proposed puncture site to help immobilise the vein. Advance the needle, bevel up, into the vein at an angle of approximately 30 degrees. Care should be taken not to insert the needle so far that it continues through the vein and out the other side. Once the needle has punctured the vein, you can release the traction on the patient's arm. You must not let go of the needle hub at any point, holding it securely between your thumb and index finger. Fully withdraw the plunger, allowing the bottle to fill with blood. If you require further blood samples, turn the sample bottle anti-clockwise and separate from the needle. Invert the bottle gently and place in your tray. Attach the second and subsequent blood sample bottles to the needle. It is important that you hold the hub of the needle firmly during the changing of the bottles. Once you have filled all the required blood sample bottles, remove the last one from the needle and release your tourniquet. Without pressure, apply the cotton wool swab to the puncture site. Withdraw the needle and put it immediately into the sharp spin. Now apply pressure directly over the puncture site. Use a piece of tape to secure the dressing. Turn your attention to the blood sample bottles. These must be labelled at the patient's bedside. Write clearly and legibly using black ink, ensuring that the ink from your pen will not smudge. Remove the plunger from the bottle by pulling it until you hear a click. At this point, gently snap off the plunger, placing it into the sharps bin, and repeat this process for all the bottles. 